Right here in this lesson today. I mean, just because some great tragedy happened to someone else doesn't mean that you are not committing a ways of sin than they did. But you're simply here by the grace and mercy of God another year. That God has permitted you to be here. Even though you have not been faithful and, 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 and thankful towards him. There used to be a time when I was a boy that he'd wake up and uh, uh, a Christian. He didn't have to be on no Sunday morning. But you find in the neighborhood they say, I woke up this morning with my mind staying on Jesus. And they didn't just say they do it, they say hallelujah. That means that they was that they was happy on the inside. You know, I discovered hallelujah. If a person don't have some joy on the inside, you it's hard to deal with them. When, when I was a boy, we, we didn't have no century heat. But we had, in the winter time, we had to make sure that when we got our wood together to build a fire for the next morning, we had to Get wood and make sure it would dry to start a fire. In order that we might warm the house. You could not start a fire with wet wood. Maybe y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You, you could not stand, start a fire with wet, with wet wood. You had to get some dry kindling. Y'all don't know what that is. <laughs> A amen, amen. In order to start those kindling, if you didn't have no kerosene oil, you got some newspaper and put it under those kindling. And then you struck a match. Amen, started the, the newspaper burning. And the newspaper would catch on to the kindling. And you got enough kindling so it, it, it can catch on to the dry wood. And then as it began to burn, then you could put a, a half green log on the fire. But you got to have enough dry wood to dry out the, the wet wood. Well, now, I see the same thing in the Lord's house. You got too many wet wood Christians. Amen, they are soggy. And it takes a whole out to dry them out. But if you wake up in the morning, with your mind yeah. on Jesus, yeah. you'll be able to come in these doors yeah. and with thanksgiving yeah. and then to court with praise. Yeah. You cannot pray God yeah. if you don't have some fire yeah. down on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody ought not have to sing you happy. Yeah. You ought to be happy because God is good to you. Yeah. You ought to be happy because God has brought you from a mighty long way. You ought to be happy because he woke you up this morning. You ought to be happy because he started you on your way. You ought to be happy because he, he gave you activity of your limb. You ought to be happy because he clothed you in the right mind. You ought to say, thank you, Lord, for another brand new day. Thank you, been good to me, Lord. You brought me from a mighty long way. I don't know about you, but God has been good to me. Even though there's storms in my life, but that's all right. Every, every, every year, it has four seasons, and every season got to carry out, yeah, what God has put for it to carry out. Yeah, there's a season for storm. There's a season for rain. There's a season for sunshine. Yeah, am I right about it? And when the stormy season comes, you got to find your good shelter in place. I found my shelter in Jesus. He's my shelter in place in a time of a mighty storm. Sometimes, oh glory, oh glory, when the storm is on the way. When I was a little boy, and when the storm, we didn't have no radio. But my mother could look at the cloud. The neighbor could look at the cloud. They could look at the atmosphere. They could feel the atmosphere and say, storm is on its way. <laughs> Good God Almighty. I look at the atmosphere of Elbeth's congregation. Yeah. Oh, glory. I can feel the atmosphere. It's not too good an atmosphere. 
Oh, glory to God. But I come to tell you, if you've been born again, if you've been born on the inside, it'll show up on the outside. Oh, glory. Oh, glory to God. Let it alone. This year also. You're not here because you've been so good. But because of grace and mercy. Good God of mine. Because of grace and mercy. See, when, when, when Jesse would have cut you off. But grace and mercy, oh no. We've already paid the price. Give him another chance. Because of his grace and his mercy. I realize I'm not here because I've been so good. But because of his grace and his mercy, yeah, he allowed me another chance, another year, another year. This straight man said to the, wine, to the, to, to the vine dresser, these three years, I've come seeking fruit on this fig tree. This is my fig tree. And I had it planted in my vineyard. And I've been looking for some fruit for three long years. And every year I come, the same old thing. What you think about God, think about you. Now, now, now listen. Notice what I said. This is a parable. It's an earthly saying with a heavenly meaning. Now, he wasn't just talking about a fig tree, but he's talking about you all. He's talking about you. However long you've been in the world, what kind of fruit have you born? However long you've been in the world, what, what, what kind of fruit have you been bearing? That's what Jesus was talking about in this lesson today. But he used a parable of a fig tree. A certain man could mean anybody that had a vineyard. He had a fig tree planted. And he said, these three years. I mean, he, he just didn't come that first year looking for it. But he said, I've been coming back and forth for four, three years. And, and I found no fruit on him. And I don't want to have nothing else to do with it. Just cut it down. Why digging? Why dung the ground? Why, why crumble to the ground? Why you keep on cultivating the ground when it's not doing anything? But the vine dresser said. But the vine dresser said. Let alone this year also. And give me another chance at it. Let me wait with it a little longer. Let me dig around. It and let me dung it. Let, 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 let me fertilize it with animal body waste. And, and, and then let me, uh, let me pulverize the ground and cultivate the ground and turn it over, pull out the weeds, and, 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 and then if it don't bear, after I re-fertilize it. After, you, know, you know, when you got a garden, you have to go out sometime and break, break up the ground again around the plant that you have planted in the garden. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Amen. Sometimes the ground gets too crusty, too hard. And so you have to wake the ground. Well, now that's what the gospel is doing. The gospel is waking the ground. It's waking around you. Amen. Trying to loosen up what's around you. Am I right about it? That you might be fruitful. That you may bring forth fruit. Am I right about it? Let it alone. This year. Also, this year, in a year, there are 12 months in a year. A month does not, does not consist of one month. A year does not consist of one month. But 12 months would give you an opportunity. If you can't do it in one month, you have some more months ahead. It also consists of 52 weeks. 